Self-entitlement. Hello everybody, it's Tom here from Code. I hope you're all well. Today we're going to discuss a subject matter that probably crops up a lot in modern society and that's the idea of self-entitlement. That's people believing that they're entitled to more than perhaps they are. And we will go into the reasons why this may happen and how somebody would arrive at that feeling that they are actually entitled to more than the next person. So, quite simply, self-entitlement is, as I said, it is a, a fear, feeling that you're actually worthy of more than the next person. And when I say more, I mean lots more, okay? If we're thinking a bit like uh, everyone gets an equal share of a piece of cake, uh, the person who's self-entitled probably believes that they deserve two or three slices of the cake rather than whatever the one that everybody else has got. So, with that in mind, I will go into perhaps the reasons as to why people believe that there's, they are more entitled to something than the next person. Well, without trying to call anyone out here, I think it comes down to childhood. It comes down to the way that a child is brought up, and in some cases, it's a child being spoiled. And when I say spoiled, I mean literally given everything from day one without no sort of uh, efforts to work for it and literally handed everything on a plate. And with that comes an expectation that everything in life should be as easy as that as well. When we all know that in reality that it just doesn't work that way, that life isn't that easy, and that things aren't that easy, and they don't come that easy. So, absolutely, this is a short video today about why we feel that, probably more than ever in some cases, that we deserve more than perhaps the next person. The fact of the matter is, we are all entitled to, in my opinion, a couple of things. One is a right to an opinion, and whatever opinion that may be. And number two is obviously basic human rights, which we are all entitled to. Outside of that, there's not much that you are entitled to. Not really. And there are people out there who will try and convince you otherwise, who will try and say, yes, 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 you can have this, you can have that. You know, the fact of the matter is, no. I've very much become... As I've got older, a lot more humble, a lot more like less asking for things and a lot more less expecting things. And I think that is a good way to sort of go about your daily business, you know. Just get on with whatever it is you're doing, do it well, do it to the best of your ability, be the best you can be. And if you are rewarded or given a prize, then fantastic. If somebody's praising you and what you do and maybe pointing you out as outstanding, then again, very respectfully accept, or even if it is a little modestly, and take it. But don't ever believe for one second that you deserve or are entitled to more than the next person. I would never believe that to be honest with you I go about my business very low key I don't gloat when I win something I'm very respectful to anybody in a competition you know someone who may beat me I applaud them and I say well done I'm very magnanimous like that in defeat but not at any point do I believe that I am more worthy than the next person not at all I think the fact is really here we have to earn the right for being more entitled to stuff for, for the plaudits we perhaps want. And uh, the only way to do that is by working hard, staying true, staying humble, getting your head down 
and certainly not having any major expectations about anything because at the end of the day it should just be bare with no sort of attitude of trying to get anything back we should just do it anyway do it, do it well if you get something back in return, fantastic. If you don't, it's okay. At the end of the day, you're doing it anyway. Okay? That is the message here today. Uh, simply that being self-entitled, thinking you are owed something, that life or the world owes you something, the fact of the matter is it doesn't. Okay? I used to know somebody years ago. Good bloke. He'd had a lot of turmoil in his childhood and it made him very self-entitled he believed in his own heart and in his own mind that he was more entitled than the next person because he'd had a rough ride which i 100 percent understand but life doesn't owe you anything and the world doesn't either and i i know someone else who's works at the second job that i'm in and he's been in the position for quite some time now he's Understanding is that because he's been in so long, because he's been doing it for nearly 20 years, he's eligible for the next level in terms of promotion. Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint the guy I'm about to talk about, but having experience does not necessarily translate to you getting the position at a company. Trust me, I should know, because I've been in logistics now for 16, nearly 17 years. And I'm not holding a management position, and that's that's to me is not right. But again, I should never believe that I'm entitled to that. I've got to earn that. And the same for that man who believes he should be in a higher position. Experience alone is not enough to get you that promotion. You're not entitled. That's it, guys. This is my first of three videos this week. I want to say thank you all ever so much for listening. I really appreciate your time and energy spent here on my channel. Thank you kindly. First of three, put down in the comment section below, are you somebody that has encountered uh, self-entitled people? Uh, personally, they're quite irritating and annoying in some respects. You know, they behave like spoiled brats and probably were spoiled brats as children and that's probably why this situation has arose. Um, we have to teach people to be more respectful, more accepting and more humble and to just go about their daily life with no sort of expectations of anything like that and they do things out of just genuineness genuine kindness and authenticity not doing things to expect a pat on the back because you should just do it anyway that's just how it is remember remember to hit that subscribe button down below leave me a thumbs up and a like and let's hear that bell sign go ding dong so you know my next content's out until then, I will be back with another video, middle of the week. But from now on until then, I want to say thank you all ever so much for listening. Take care of yourselves. See you in the next video and bye for now.